Tracy starts round four with a 47.6 on three. Couldn't make it fit on the horns. Just started round four, and Trey Sheets just had his first no time today, unfortunately. Six will go into the semifinals, and right now only five men are in position to do that. Chris Glover is next. There's five ropers left that have times in all three rounds so Chris, far. Chris Glover's up a next. Real challenge last time. That steer was not going to work. He would not give up, and he ended up in 39-1. Chris Glover's up next. Kind of etched himself permanently into the top 15. This year, he's no better than 45th because of the way the season has gone. Chris Glover had a no time in the first round and then had times in second and third round. His steer struggled in the third round, so he had a, a long time. Pitches and turns. Well, that pony hang on to him, and he's going to do it. And Chris Glover is going to be just what we would have expected. Twelve seconds flat for Glover. Twelve, Twelve seconds flat for Chris Glover. Twelve flat. No Garrett Hale's up next. This Unfortunately, is, uh, he's got three no times so Snyder, far. Texas. Garrett's from Snyder, Texas. Here with his girlfriend, his mom and dad are back home. Not asking Trevor for a pointer or two, maybe. Not that he needs them. He knows what he needs to do. At this point, he just needs to get one down, break his streak. Oh. Well, I know that hit him. Dang it. And unfortunately, Garrett Hale's rope just broke. So he is without a time through the first four rounds. Dang it. He's been at it for too long. Cody Lee's up next. Won the average there. Always mounted well. He's from Gainesville, Texas. Gainesville, Texas is home for Cody Lee, who's up next. Texas circuit champion in 2013. 17 flat to slip into second place in the go round. 17 flat for Cody Lee, 17 flat. So he's got three down now in 52 and 8. 52.8 on three head for Cody Lee. Past Prairie Circuit champion. Not working quite as well as he might have liked Johnson. on that one, but does get the flag. Sorry, I was late on recording that. 14-3. 14-3 for Trent Johnson. 14 and 3 tenths. Still nobody good on four yet. Nobody good on four. 
three-time Montana champion. Duck Benson sub next. Duck Benson. Sankey. Followed by Chet Heron and Ike Sankey. Unfortunately for Duck, he's got three no times so far. Thank you folks who have come out to enjoy steer rolling. It's always fun to see true fans who understand the significance of this event and its place in the world. Especially sitting through the, uh, sitting through the weather. Fourteen eight for 14, Duck Benson. Fourteen eight. Chet Heron's up next. Chet Heron. I believe his rope broke in the last round, round three. I could be wrong. Another reason for contestants to come to the country club tonight, not only for the state dinner and the shrimp, baked potato and. All the other good stuff that Mike McNamee forgot to tell us about. But they're taking mug shots tonight, so the photographer will be there. So contestants, I know, Chris, you'd rather go home and sleep, but go down and get your picture taken first, please. Chet Heron. Chet Heron was doing good on the first two. Had a no time in round three. Chet took a no time on his last one after two good runs, including placing in round two. Can you do that? Oh, that stair is going to get up. Chet is going to take a no time. Sankey, you're next. Then Marty Jones. And no Bill time for Ryan. Chet Heron, unfortunately. No time. Ike Sankey is up next. Ike Sankey. Our weather prognosticator is still with us. She's in a parade waving. <laughs> Who is Marty, that? You're next. Marty Jones. No time for Ike Sankey. Will McBride, Roger and unfortunately, and his no times continue. I know Ike would not want it that way, but unfortunately it is. Marty had a no time in the first round. Marty Jones is up next. Marty Jones is up next. At 13-2. Come on, Marty. Let's get another one down. Time no for time. Marty Jones. No time. Jones. No time. The hours is some forty three hours and forty minutes ago. So anyway, round two, Clay loses his rope. I don't remember the last time the champ lost his rope. It's not the roper's problem. We had I was gonna buy my new pickup and they got no they weren't in the top four in any of the rounds. Probably had their worst BFI showing ever. Just about a third of the way through this go round. So this year, Will McBride. Will McBride's up now. He's up 
He's a past winner here at this national circuit finals. Good job, Will. And he runs a 13.6. 13.6 for Will McBride. 13.6. He's sitting the second in the round. Run of the go round. In 13-6, he's good first in third go. Who's up next? Got, um, this is Roger Branch. Roger Branch is up next. Roger Branch has two no times so far out of three rounds. Roger's looking for a little bit of uh, redemption. Maybe a little bit of Fasco money. He might come out and tie this one in five flat, which would be the all time fastest steer tripping run of the whole entire universe that I know of. Come on, Roger. Watch your branch. Gunning for some day money. Looks like he might have it. Can he beat that 11 that he had to place in the second round? It's good. There you go, Roger. He does. 10 and 7 tenths. Right. 10.7 for Mr. Branch. 10.7. in the second place. 21.7 on the two. I'd have bought that one for 400 around. <laughs> Tough Cooper's up next. He's at the fastest time in round two and three. Unfortunately, he had a no time in round one, but he's looking good so far. If he keeps roping the way he does, he'll be looking good. Come on, tough. Takes him by a little bit, but tough to make Damn. it to nine, but it's going to be fast. Hold it. He does two. Nine, one. Wow. Nine, one for Tough Cooper. Nine point one. So nine, one means that on three, he's 28.4. 28.4 on three head. 28.4. He had a no time in round one, a 10-2 fast time in round two, a 9-1 for fast time in round three, and a 9-1 for fast time in round four. Good job, Tough. Troy Tillard is next. Troy Tillard's up next. Troy Tillard. Troy Tillard's up now. Troy Tillard. To do it again, he's already seen the 9-1. Come on, Troy. There you go. Steer's just laying there. Make it happen on the ground. We've got Troy Tiller. And he does it in a 10-3. 10-3 for Troy Tiller. 10-3. Now, Colorado. Exactly. There you go. And here he goes. Who's up? It's the steer on the ground. Who? Of course, working well. Pake. Not quite as good on the cue as he might have liked. Pake stories up right now. Pake stories. Can he beat that 12? Not quite. Pretty good. 12-8 for Pake Story. 12-8 for Pake Story. 12-8. That gives him three down. He's got three out of four down. Less than 40 seconds on three. Um, uh, Who's up now? Scott Snedeker. Oh, Brian Gar's up next. Brian Gar, followed by Brody Papano and Shank Edwards. Brian Gar had times in the first two rounds and a no time in the third round. Get them rolled, get them dizzy so they don't want to get up. Nice job, Brian. Woo! Brian Gar is going to have something to say about who gets money out of this round. 11-2. 11-2 for Brian Gar. 11-2. He's sitting fourth in the round. Brody Papano's up next. Brody Papano is on right now. Turnsy would can't get him to take the uh. No time for Brody Papano. No, no time. time for Brody Papano, unfortunately. All right, Shank Edwards. Two out of the four. 
He's had two times out of the four rounds for Brody Papano. So he's 50%. There's Trevor Brazil right there. Just cool as a cucumber, old Trev. Watch that guy with precision-like surgical technique last year. Just direct the whole steer trip in NFR. Went in into it, leading it. And by the end of it, he had won the average and had won the world, his seventh world title for Trev. Guy's amazing. Or as Trevor would say, be relentless. Oh, no time for Shank Edwards. Unfortunately, no time for Shank. Shank Edwards got four no times. He's gonna go back out behind the return shoot and kick a little dirt. He was in third place in the average coming into this fourth go round. Hasn't won any money yet. It's 13 six. Trevor's sitting third in the average right now. Trevor is everybody else. Anybody who broke this league understands. Just go out and rope them all. Don't worry about the days. If you get one that you can win with, go with it. Otherwise, just get it wrapped up. And that's what Trevor's done for three rounds. And now round four. It's a tough one. Still gonna have to run one in run one in twelve. Chris Glover here still four. Come on, Trevor. Catches the head, gets him out of maybe eleven. There you go. Good job, Trevor. Yeah, I should hope so. Ten one. Trevor. 10-1 for Trevor. So that's going to that's going to take the 12 out. Good job, Trevor, at a 10.1. Second place, Trevor will be 53.9. Trevor's 53.9 on four head, and he is the first roper to have four down. your next, then Ori. Ryan Rocklitz is up next. Good job, Trevor. 10.1 on in round four and 53.9 on four. He's the only roper that's got four head down clean. And the surgical precision continues. Ryan Rocklitz is up now. Ryan Rocklitz. Come on, Ryan. There you go. Oh! Couldn't get to him fast enough. It was a 22.2 with the barrier in round three. He's not having the certain. Keep him down. There you go. Making sure he's got him. Yes, he does. He will have four down. Not going to place in the round. There's this bit. There. Ori Tate, he's got four down too. 21.3 for Ori Tate. 21.3 for Ori Tate. 21.3. 61.62 and 7.10. 62.7 for Ori Tate on four head. Him and Trevor, the only two golfers that have four down. 62.7 is second in the inning. He's not won any money yet this uh, roping, but he's been good. 13, 14, and then had a 25 on his last one. Come on, Vin. Ben Fisher Jr.'s got 11.6 for Ben, 11. 6 for ben Fisher. Make his total 65 and 4. 65 point, place in the average. 65.4 on four head. So we got three ropers now that have got four head down. Three men have four down. One more. Led by Trevor Brazil. And, and we've got one more roper with the possibility, two more, with the possibility of getting four head roped. Pendleton's like 30 times better than Diane. Right out about the same way he's done them all. Scoots right back. Come on, Scott Snedeker. Whoa! 
Wow. There's a good second place run, 9.4. Wow, 9.4 for Scott Snedeker. 9.4 for Scott. What? No, he didn't. Pass in first place with the 9.1. Oh. In the average, four men have caught four. Scott Snedeker is. Senator Fisher, Tayton, and Brazil. Those are the. Scott Snedeker right is the four fourth head. person to roll four head. Several others could have could be good on three or have already been. Roger Nonell is one of them. He placed in the first round. Good job, Scott Snedeker. He's leading the average now. Second, but had a no time on his third Doubt. year on deck. Catch. Roger Nonell is up now. Out in that 14 area, oh. Come on, Roger. Get it. Oh. And does. Oh, shoot. Dang it. No time. No time. No, All right, Tom no Sorry. time for Roger Nonella. Better finish. Tom Sorry. Caleb Tom Sorry is up next. No time for Roger. Thompson. Tom Sorry is up next. Nine ropers left. Scott Snedeker is a 43.5 on four head, so he's leading the average with a 43.5. Second in the average is 53.9 at Trevor Brazil. Third is 62.7, Ori Tayton. And fourth is Vin Fisher with a 65.4. Tom Story's up next. Tom Story. Tom's got two no times in the first and third round, and he was 38.6 in the second round. Oh, oh Tom. Sorry. No time. Full hit Sorry pitch. about that, folks. Caleb no time for Tom and Story. Rio Losi and Coy Thompson. Caleb McMillan's up next, and he's got, unfortunately, three no times so far. Here's your chance now. Back in the box and shot. He's had three no times. Looking for a, looking for a qualified run. There you go. Started well. Stay down, Steer. Oh, another no time for Caleb, unfortunately. Caleb McMillan's got four no times. Rio Losi's up next. Rio Losi's up next. All right, Rio. Good on two out of three. Oh, needing one. Oh, that was a come on, Rio. Great. Deep in the pen. He had been 28 on two. So he had a, would have a chance. Won't place, but 17-2 will make him 45-2 on three. 17.2 for Rio Lucy. 17.2. Which makes him 45.3 on three. Rio Lucy specifically. Coy Thompson's up next. Coy Thompson. Get the arena cleared. Three of you, all contestants understand that pictures taken tonight at the social. So if that's the only reason you go, that's a good reason to get your picture taken for the for the uh, PRCA. Coy Thompson backing in the box. His fourth run. He had a 12-4 his last time out, which was out of the money. Nice job, Coy. He can be quick. He won Baker last year, and that was... Good job, Coy. Let's see what he does this time. A 10.6. 10.6 for 10 Coy six. Thompson. That should place... We have a 9-1, 10-1, 9, no, no, 9-1, no, that won't place, 9-1, 9-4, 10-1, 10-3, those are the money ones so far, so the 10-6 is good. 
is up next. We got Corey Ross. Corey Ross is up next. Corey Ross. Corey's got a time in the first round and then no times after that. Corey Ross. Going to get a time here. here. We'll count toward the national finals steer roping. So there's. Good job, Corey. Doesn't hurt anybody to do well. 13 seconds flat. 13 flat for Corey Thompson. 13 flat. 13 flat for Corey. So he is 26.6 on two head. Four guys left to wrap things up today. Brady Garton's up next. Brady Garton. Garton split third and fourth in the third goal round with a 10 5. I think that breeze to pick back Scott up. Snedeker looks unless we well, have some really fast we'll do runs. Tonight is Snedeker Nick looks like we could place a, uh, rope in the and fourth and consecutive it. run. Oh, okay. And uh, Tuff Cooper uh, we could it be a third consecutive victory. But then uh, we have a dummy rope on it. Tuff and it starts out as each of the circuits has to designate one rope as a dummy rope. And it's a reach contest until we're down to two guys, and then it's a pig, a game of pig. And they just call their shots. Oh, nice. It is entertaining. Yeah, we'll do that tonight out there. That'll yeah. be awesome. Yeah. Yep. Brady Garton is the roper. Brady Gartner's on right now. He's in 37th place in the PRCA standings as we start this weekend. Oh, I don't think that fits. Oh. No time. No time for Brady Gartner. No time for Jason Brady. Jason Stewart, you're next. Jason Stewart's up right now. Jason, I'd, if I were coaching you, I'd say this is just like any other practice run. He's got three qualified runs in succession, hasn't placed yet. But he has roped consistently. Jason Stewart's got man, three I stairs just, down. I spoke earlier. I said only four could get in there, but five actually. If he makes the catch, he'll be the fifth man to have. If he makes four this down. catch, he's the fifth man to have Jason, four down. Wanting to get into that round of eight can be a big deal. Oh, no. Oh. So we've got four ropers that have four down so far. No time for Jason Stewart. He's got three down, but not four, unfortunately. Chad Mathis. Two men left here in round four, and we're done for the day. Chad Mathis is up next. Chad Mathis. He's only got a one. He's only got one time so far. You know how Trevor's doing so good. I'm wearing his boots and his shirt and his pants. Cheyenne Frontier Days, Wyoming Downs, and Jim I mean, so is he. Thank you for money or services that help this rodeo come together. Oh, come on, Chad. Chad. Chad Mathis is going to have a no time, unfortunately. One roper left four in round four. Yeah, yeah. Put the first steer on the chute. Bad. We are coming to our last roper. And it's J.R. Olson who is looking to put a cap on the day. He's had three runs without qualified time, so this is his time. 9-1-9-4-10-1 and 10-3 are the money positions. We have a J.R. Olson's up next, and unfortunately for J.R., he has three no times. 
And he's the last roper of round four and the last roper of the day. So, JR, you need to be 10 3 or quicker right now. This needs to be your time. <laughs> Get the head catch. And unfortunately for JR, another no so time. And gentlemen, for the third consecutive round, Tough Cooper takes first place. Tough Cooper's with first nine with the 9 1. 9 4 by Scott Snedeker. Is good 9 for 4 second. with Scott Snedeker. 10 1 by Trevor Brazil. 10 1 with Trevor Brazil. And Troy Tillard for the second straight round has a 10 10 3, and that's good for fourth. Troy Tillard, fourth the with the 10.3. Four down, led by Scott Snedeker at 43.5, Trevor Brazil at 53.9, Ori Tatum at 62.7, and Ben Fisher at 65.4. There are four men with, with the four down. I'll have the numbers on those that have three. We'll get a chance to go through the list. In the meantime, we'll wrap it up. Right There's the times the right there, the ladies and gentlemen. Judges, thank you. Great job. Appreciate your consideration. And we're out till tomorrow. We might have some video footage tonight from the Calcutta.